Hey guys, so I know I promised a second video for key number two to online success, which is confidence. But I gotta say, today I went to meet a refugee family and it, that took up five hours of the day. And so I know these are all excuses, but that's why it's 9 p.m. right now. No, I think it's even more. It's like 9.40 p.m. right now and I don't have anything for you. I even tried to make a slide and talk over it because I'm in pajamas and I'm talking about confidence. And so it's a little bit of contradiction and I have no makeup. But anyway, I'm going to power through it. So I was thinking I'm going to share what I know about confidence. And the truth is I really struggle with confidence because for so long in the corporate world, I was always bullied and kind of put down. And under pressure, I kind of go inward and I always thought I was an introvert. But the thing is, when I was doing things that I liked and when I'm traveling, when I'm meeting new people who are like-minded, who accept me, who do not judge, I realized I'm actually an extrovert. Like I love hosting and I love meeting new people. I love having deep conversations one-on-one. -on -one. And I realized that's when I can gain confidence in myself. And also, another thing about confidence that I was thinking about today is that the reason why you might not have confidence, let's say, at an interview is because you're trying to convince the other person of your capabilities in the future. And you're, you can only base what you've known from the past, and that might be why you feel uncertain because it's the future none of us know what's going to happen but you kind of have to mimic the belief that you have in yourself for the future and so you know that saying um don't let your past achievements get in the way of what you will achieve in the future i don't know the exact wording but i'll quote that if you would like and i think this is really true that's why it's a cliche but you have to fake it till you make it especially when it comes to confidence because you don't know what you're capable of in the future based on your past so that's what i wanted to leave you with today i hope that was informative and i'll be back with the key number three which is clarity okay good night